welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I really wanted to talk about a really important topic. It's very, very important and it's about depression. Overcoming depression. Overcoming it. Surpassing all odds and overcoming depression. It is possible. It is certainly possible for you to overcome it. There's a lot of people out there who are suffering from depression. Just suffering from depression, suffering from the symptoms of depression. Some people don't even know that they are legitimately depressed. I know there are people out there who are in a really, 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 really dark place in their life and they, they don't know how to overcome it or come out of it. But it is possible, you guys. It is so, so possible. And I'm just here to tell you how possible it is. If you are open and if you're willing to hear what it is that I'm going to say, then I definitely encourage you to keep on watching. Um, where does depression come from? Where does depression come from, you guys? Where do you think it comes from? Depression comes from the devil. There are so many different types of demons out there. So, 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 so many. And one of the most, one of the most powerful, most powerful demon is depression. That, that, that demon has jumped into embodied a lot of people a lot of people nowadays a lot of people are depressed a lot of people don't know what to do a lot of people are just feeling down a lot of people have this depression some people need to take medication because they they, they need an uplift and they're so so depressed a lot a lot of people are really 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 depressed you guys and it really makes me sad you know I had I think we all go through a phase in our life to where we have been depressed but we've come out of it but there is a deeper form of depression where people are having a harder and harder time coming out of it so i just want to explain to you guys where depression actually comes from it is definitely a demon a negative negative demon that is very 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 strong and powerful in this world its main target is you it wants you to just quit give up on yourself overcome you allow it to overcome you completely so you can just submit to it pretty much so you can submit to it but is that really what you want to do? I know we can get into this funk. I know the funk is hard. I, I understand it, you guys. I totally, totally get it. I get it. The funk is hard. It's hard to shake. It's definitely hard to shake. But you know what? It is possible. It is so possible. There are tons and tons and tons and tons of symptoms of depression. But I just wanted to point out some of the main ones that um, stood out to me. And that's just darkness. Have you ever been in a point in your life to where you just couldn't be happy to save your life? Like you just couldn't be happy and you just couldn't see things in a happier light? Have you been there? I'm sure you've been there. Where everything is just dark. Very, 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 very dark. And you just don't see the light. The light is Jesus. The light is Jesus. But you don't see him. All you see is darkness, just darkness. You can't be happy for someone. You can't be happy for yourself. You just can't be happy and you just don't know why. You just don't know why. It's because the devil has his demons trying to control you, trying to come in and control you and overtake you. Another um, sign of depression is just evilness. So if you're the type of person who is constantly being negative you're you're so negative and everything negative in this negative in that and you're just so negative there is definitely something wrong there and you need to realize it let's realize, realize it realize that we have something in us that is negative and let's seek help let's seek help for it another symptom of depression is gonna be you know, if you're if you're feeling like you don't you don't want to be here anymore, if you're feeling like you're suicidal, uh, if you're cutting yourself, if you're taking risk, more uh, life dangerous dangerous risk taking, if you guys are 
suicidal and you're having suicidal thoughts, you know, I feel, I, I really, really, really hurt for you guys and I really feel for you, you know, I just can't stress it enough how much Jesus loves you. I can't stress it enough how much Jesus loves you all. Jesus loves you guys so much. And that is the last thing he wants you guys to do. That is the last thing. Turn to him. Turn to him. Turn to him. He is what you need. He is what everyone needs. He is all you need. He is definitely all you need. If you're having those thoughts, seek in. And if you're believing those negative thoughts to where you want to take your own life, don't give up. Fight. Keep fighting. Don't give up on yourself. You are so... You are meant to do so much. You are meant to do so much. So, so much in this world. You were created with a purpose. Jesus gave up his life so that we would have life and have it more abundantly. He gave up his life for us to have life. So if he gave his life up for us to have life, then why are you feeling so hopeless, honey or guy? <laughs> Why are you feeling so hopeless? Why are you feeling so alone? When Jesus gave up his life for you, you are so precious to him. Why are you feeling so hopeless and alone? He gave up his life. He wants to be there for you. He wants to help you. Yes, we live in a world where it's dark, it's negative, there's evilness, there's killing, there's there's a lot of evilness in this world. But are you gonna let that evilness in this world overcome you? Are you going to let this evilness in this world overcome you? Or are you going to be that light to just keep fighting and shine bright and just be that light that Jesus wants you to be? Are you? Are you going to keep fighting? Are you going to make him proud? Don't you want the life? Don't you want a more abundant filled life? Don't you want a life to where you're 100% completely, you know, just at peace? Don't you want peace? Allow Jesus to come in and give you that peace because he definitely will do it. So with all of that being said, how do we overcome it? How do we overcome this depression? That negative demon that is trying to take your soul and try to take you out, quite frankly. How do we overcome it? I'll tell you how you overcome it. You accept Jesus. Accept Jesus Christ into your life. Accept him. Wholeheartedly accept Jesus Christ into your life. And he will fulfill you. The Holy Spirit will come in as your comforter and fulfill you with this peace. He will start to move in your life and ways in your life. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who just don't believe in Jesus and just don't believe in, you know, Christianity or, you know, church or religion or just don't believe. But have you, have you truly wholeheartedly with your heart actually accepted him and believed in him? And has he not done any good things in your life? Think about it. Has he not done any good thing in your life? Let's really, really think about it. He is a good, good God. Yes, there are bad things that happen, but there is a devil too. There is a devil too. He prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. The Bible says it. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion Seeking someone to devour. He wants to devour you. He wants to devour you. So are you going to give him that satisfaction of devouring you? Or do you want to rise above and stand tall and have the light and be with Jesus and have him living within you and defeat the devil once and for all? Do you want that? Do you want that? Give all of your trials and your tribulations to the Lord. All of them. Any hurt, any pain, any depression, all the emotions that you have, 
give it unto the Lord. He has come on your behalf and has defeated all things for you already. He's already done the defeat. He already defeated. He's done. You don't have to deal with it. Give it to him and go each day, each day, each step at a time and he will show you. He will show you himself. Let go and let God. He will handle all things that are troubling you. Anything that's troubling you, let go and let him. He will take care of it. He will handle it on your behalf. You better believe it. You better believe it. He certainly will. Once you truly, truly, truly let it go, he will give you rest from it. He will give you rest from it. Give it to him. Trust in him to defeat that for you. You do not have to do it by yourself. You have him. He came on your behalf. He wants you to come to him completely. He wants you to come to him completely, not half-heartedly, not half-empty or half-full. Completely surrender to him and trust in him. Anyone out there who's watching this video and is sick and tired of the devil winning, control over their lives, winning over certain circumstances, winning over depression, anxiety. Hear me again, who is tired, sick and tired of the darkness that is around them, inside of them. If you are sick and tired of that, accept Jesus. If you want a new beginning, a new life, a new mindset, accept Jesus. Accept him right now, guys. Say right now, Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. I pray to you. I admit that I'm a sinner. And I try to do things my own way. But I know, Father, that right now, in this time, I cannot. I cannot do things on my own. I need you. Right now, Father God, I believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross for my sins. To bear all of my sins. In his name, I believe that. He rose on the third day. And now I am saved. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and I want him to be the savior of my life. Come in, Jesus Christ, and save me from all of these afflictions that are trying to overtake me and over empower me in this world. Father God, I believe and I want you to come and I receive you today as my heavenly Father, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Accept him. If you said that prayer with me, you guys, you, your life is about to change. Your life is about to change. If you truly, truly believed it in your heart, your life is about to change. And Jesus does miracles. He is a God full of blessings. He's just a one of a kind God. And I'm just so, so happy that you've accepted him. And allow him to defeat depression and any other illness. You don't have to do it anymore. You don't have to do it alone anymore because he's got your back. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope and I pray for you all to keep going strong and to never give up. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, I pray that for you. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.